Okay, readers, let's get ready. First thing I do is always the same. I pick up a pencil and I write my name. So right next to N-A-M-E, I am going to write in my best printing, Miss Seltzer. Okay. And I'm going to turn the page and find page one. And you're going to read with me. Okay. So, T-H-I-S, this is, who do you think this is? If you said rat, I think you're right. Rat. And if you notice, we started the, sent the sentence with an uppercase T. The first letter of the first word of a sentence starts with an uppercase case letter. And I guess rat is the rat's name because that has an uppercase R and the end mark is a period. This is rat. So I think I'm going to circle all the words that rhyme with at or are in the at family or have the short A. So I'm going to circle rat. And then I'm going to underline the sight word is. So I'm underlining a sight word. I'm circling the words in the at family. Okay, this is rat. This is cat. So again, I'm going to underline is and circle cat. I bet you can guess the next page. Let's see. This is Pat. Underline, circle, and because it's a name, also uppercase P for Pat. And Cat also had an uppercase C. Kind of silly to name your cat, Cat. Up, oh, ready? Rat, Cat, and Pat. At sat another word in that family. Circle, 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 circle. Okay. And and is a sight word. Let's underline and. So this is what my page looks like now. Okay, next page. Ready? Rat and cat sat on a mat. And the new word on this page, sat. Ooh, a lot of things to circle. So, rat, cat, sat, mat. Underline, and, and, a. Ooh, a new one. Ready? Rat and cat sat in a huh at. Put it together. Hat. And in is a sight word. So circle rat, underline and, circle cat, circle sat, underline in, underline a, circle hat. What are at words? Ooh, ready? <laughs> this is a silly page. Rat and cat sat on pat. And there they are sitting on pat. Circle, underline, circle, circle, and circle. Okay, let's read this one more time through. And then I bet you'll be able to just go and read it on your own or read it to somebody in your family or a friend, or maybe you have a younger brother or sister that you can read this book to. So the title, this is the cover and this is the title, Rat, Cat, and Pat. And what I like to do when I'm reading, it's a good habit to get into, finger under the words. So this is rat. Rat. This is cat. Cat. 
So when you're reading along with me or on your own, your finger should be under the words, okay? This is P-A-T-Pat. And Pat has a P on his shirt, so we know, or her shirt, we know. That's probably who that is. Rat, cat, and Pat sat. Okay, let's see. Oh, did I miss a page? No, I didn't. Okay. Ready? Rat and cat sat on a mat. And rat and cat sat in a hat. And, okay, ready? Rat and cat sat on hat. Silly book. Oh, I just thought of another good idea. I can think of some more words that rhyme with rat, cat, and pat and are in the at family. Can you think of any? Hmm, I just thought of, if I put a b in front, I have b, a, t, Okay, so I just wrote bat. Let's see what else we had. Hat in there. Zat, not really a word. Um, hmm, mat, nat. Okay, uh, lat, not a word. But you can make up some nonsense words, and I really like zat. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss word. Z a uh, oh, v a t that. The that's like a container. So I just added some more words because I like to always think, hmm, what else could I do to take this to the next step? Okay, so I wrote some more words. Oh, I just thought of another one. F at. See if you can figure out what word that is and write it down. So hopefully you will come up with some more words. Now I'm going to go and color my booklet. And you know, you can color your booklet however you want, okay? You can color the cat whatever color you want. You can color the rat whatever color you want. And the same with Pat. So I'm taking out my colored pencils because I want my book to be a little more colorful. So I hope you have fun with rat, cat, and pat and can come up with some new words. And that's that.